Oh, hello everyone. Today is Friday, so it is Black Figure Friday. Today we are going to be learning about John Robinson. He was an aviator. He was um, from Gulfport, Mississippi, and he one day saw this new invention come from the sky and land in the ocean and him like many mississippians had never seen an airplane before and they called it an aeroplane and from that day on when he was a little boy when he saw that plane he dreamt of becoming a pilot so when john was old enough he went to tuskegee in alabama uh, which is an HBCU, by the way. If you follow me, you know how I feel about HBCUs. So shout out to Tuskegee. And um, after completing his courses at Tuskegee, he went to Curtis Wright University and uh, he went to apply there, but he was not admitted because blacks could not attend this school. So instead of him being defeated, what he did was he got a job as a janitor. And as he was doing his janitorial jobs, he was sitting in on classes and he was reading papers that students uh, threw away. So he was getting, learning everything he could, getting all the information that he could while uh, being a janitor. Him and his friend and um, also a another airman, Cornelius Kofi, um, created the Challenger Air Pilots Association, and it was for other black people interested in aviation. And together they built their own plane. And there was an instructor from Curtis Wright, the school that he wanted to attend, but he couldn't that saw this and was super impressed and invited John to attend Curtis Wright. So remember, you know, if he would have given up and said, oh, well, they don't allow black students at this school, let me just give up on my dream, he would have never been able to be invited to attend the school that he wanted to attend to begin with. In 1931, John graduated from Curtis Wright that school that didn't allow him to attend because he was black, he's now a graduate of at this point. After he graduated, he started a flight school for black pilots. Um, then in 1934, he returned to Tuskegee where he wanted to get students excited and interested in aviation. And his perseverance and efforts led to the formation of the Tuskegee Airmen. And that was the first black all black pilot group that fought in world war ii well they were the first to fight ever all black pilot group to fight but they fought in world war ii john believed that black people should help black people no matter where they are so because of his beliefs when italy invaded ethiopia he volunteered to join the ethiopian army and to form its air force and so um, his planes lacked weapons, though. And so he flew uh, recognizance and mission supplies by training pilots. So what that means is he would be training pilots, but really he would be going and observing the other lands and the other regions to make sure that they were prepared to fight um, when the other, when Italy came into their region and they were prepared because he was flying and as he was training those pilots he was flying around and basically being like a little spy to kind of look and see what was going on and so that they could fight john's adventures were reported internationally and he was nicknamed the brown condor of ethiopia a condor is a very large vulture like bird and it is one of the largest land flying birds um, and so I thought that was kind of cool that they named him after a vulture-like bird to because of his efforts in helping Ethiopia and helping them when Italy invaded them. Many people do not know John Robinson's name. They know the Tuskegee Airmen and their landmark role of World War II. And if it wasn't for John, though, they would not there probably would not have been the Tuskegee Airmen in that time period. Um, John's persistence and perseverance is what led the start of the aviation program at Tuskegee in that time period, which birthed the Tuskegee Airmen to be able to have the opportunity in World War II. Um, like I said, most people don't know John Robinson's name. However, his 
influence influenced American and world history as we know it. If it was not for him, there were a lot of things that would have been delayed. And so I hope that you have enjoyed learning about John Robinson. Um, I definitely learned something I did not know. Fun fact, I have family from Gulfport, so shout out to Gulfport, Mississippi. Both of my maternal grandparents are from Gulfport. My mother was born in Gulfport, so it was interesting to learn about someone who came from Gulfport and just was an amazing person and very inspirational. And so I hope that you have learned something. Again, we have used uh, this book, Little Leaders, Exceptional Men in Black History. And this is John Robinson's page. And I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.